she puts away. She knows her proverbs A to Z and knows the good they bring. But when she has to follow them, well, that's another thing. Oh, little Audrey says, while the sun is out, make hay. Though she's not immense, there's a lot of sense in what little Audrey has to say. Goody good morning, you ladies. This is your friendly chef bringing you your daily baking recipe. And this one takes the cake. Today, we're baking a delicious, tasty gingerbread. Yes, we are. Are we ready, cookies? Uh-huh. I'm ready. Good. First, we break one egg, and I'm not yoking. Now, three cups of flour, two cups of milk, four cups of sugar, and then just a bit of salt. Hey, not so much. Add a dash of ginger. Now, some mustard, cider, vinegar, salt, vanilla, nutmeg, pepper, malt, sugar, spice, that'll suffice, and a cake of yeast. Now, beat it. Oh, not you, the batter. Fast, faster, 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 Pour batter into gingerbread mold. Place in oven. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And now, relax. Simple as pie, isn't it? Skill with a skillet is how you fill it. Well, that's all for today. Listen in tomorrow for your friendly chef with his daily tips on how to raise the dough. here. I'm supposed to be in cake land. Gee, you can talk and walk. And run, too. Well, so long. I got a date with a cake. And I'm late. Hey, wait for me, wait. Run, run as fast as you can if you want to go with the gingerbread man. <laughs> Miss Angel Kate, my bride-to-be. We're getting married today, she and me. Married? Oh, isn't that wonderful? Come on, let's go. Should not wed. Speak now.
interpretation of a familiar fairy tale entitled The Big Bad Wolf and a Tree Little Pig. Set to the delightful music of Johannes Brahms' Hungarian dances. As the scene opens, we find the three little pigs building their respective houses.
here we are at one of the country's most interesting zoos. Here we find the wolf in his natural setting. Next, a pack of camels. A North American greyhound. And here, two bucks and five cents. And here, two friendly elves. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. Hello, Bill. No zoo would be complete without a monkey cage. nature's own weatherman, the little groundhog, and his shadow. Over here, we find... <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey, don't annoy that sign. It's dangerous. Can't you read that sign? You'd better take my advice and leave him alone. Shame, shame. You're a bad boy. The skunk cage is always a center of interest. Well, we're lucky. It's feeding time for the giraffe. This is the second time I've had to speak to you. Leave that line alone. I'm warning you. I'm a bad boy. And here we come to a family of white rabbits. Of course, you all know how fast they multiply. <laughs> Now, over here in the birdhouse, we find the wise old owl. Who? You. Me? Yes. Ooh. An interesting bird is the South African talking parrot. Polly want a cracker? <clears throat> I said, uh, Polly want a cracker? Nah, give me a short beer. Another interesting bird is the Alcatraz jailbird. I didn't do it, I tell you. Okay, I'm afraid, see? Eh? Yeah, I'm innocent. I want to see the DA. I can't do this to me, see? Eh? I can't hang this on me. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it, I tell you. Oh, he did so do it. I saw him with my very own eyes. So there. Over here, we find Mother Ostrich on her nest. <laughs> Well, you do have something to crow about. Uh, 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 look out, look out. Well, a jackpot. <laughs> for the last time, you'd better stop annoying that line if you know what's good for you. I'm a big boy. New to the zoo is an elephant, just in from Africa. Hello, Express Company. Hi. This is Joe Jumbo. We'll send it up right away. Hello. You know, those guys have had my trunk for a week. And here we have... Uh... 
<laughs> These are some things we had left over from that last New Year's party. Pacing back and forth in their cage, we find two restless panthers. Bread and butter. 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 Well, here we have J. Wellington Buttonhook. Mr. Buttonhook used to thrill thousands at the circus by putting his head in a lion's mouth. In this cage, we find the Rocky Mountain Wildcat. Hey, bud, hey, hey, just a minute, bud. Tell me. Wild? Well, I'll tell you. They called my name out at bank night, and I wasn't there! Well, I guess that little fella finally took my advice and went home.